a power switch in these little keyboards can break, making them unusable. But there is a fix which involves soldering a jumper wire. First, we need to take out the battery and remove four screws. A small Torx screwdriver may be required. Then we take the cover off. The switch will probably be completely broken. We need to replace it or bypass it. To bypass it, we will solder a short wire between two pins in the on position. First, we need to add some fresh solder. Then we will solder a piece of thin wire between two pins. After that, we carefully remove the excess wire. We can refine the connection by adding some fresh solder and ideally some soldering flux. We clean it off with some isopropyl alcohol. The connection should look clean and shiny and the wire shouldn't touch anything besides these two pins. Now we can put the cover back and insert the battery. If it turns on, we can put the screws back and the keyboard should be good to use. We no longer have the power switch, but this is not a problem. The keyboard will go to sleep mode after one minute and we can turn it back on by pressing a button. We just need to recharge the keyboard every two weeks or take out the battery if we want to store it for a longer time.